Good morning, YouTube. I'm back. <laughs> I know I keep disappearing on you guys, but this time I have a very good excuse. You see, a little bit over a month ago, I came down with uh, the coof. We're gonna call it that because from what I understand, if you say it, they could take your video down on YouTube. I don't know how true that is, but uh, just in case. So yeah, I came down with the coof. I quarantined myself for two and a half weeks. I have a family at home to think about, so I wanted to stay away from them. And um, I tested negative over three weeks ago now. What I did was I did the rapid and the other test takes 24 to 48 hours. Uh, that came back negative. I waited three days and got tested again. And they both came back negative again before I went home. I wanted to be 100% sure that I was over, that I couldn't get anybody else sick in my house or anybody else around me. But as you guys can imagine, being quarantined for two and a half weeks has disrupted everything in my life. My business, my personal life, my documentary, YouTube. So that's why I've been gone for so long. Uh, I've been good now for over three weeks, but I haven't had a chance to make any videos. I've been playing catch up on my business and my personal life, but I'm good now. I'm all caught up. So I'm back for the time being. <laughs> I'm gonna talk more about what's been going on uh, towards the end of the video. I don't wanna make this intro too long. Today, I'm heading over to Super Fan Con. It's the first day of the con. Uh, it's a three day event. Seth and I have a booth there. I'm gonna be selling a bunch of stuff that no longer fit in with my collection. A lot of stuff that I have duplicates of. Uh, I have a habit of buying two of a lot of things. And I'm selling a bunch of pops that I no longer need in my collection. As you guys know, at one point I had close to 800 pops. I'm trying to cut down uh, to about 100 or so of my favorite ones. So I brought 200 mystery boxes with me. The last time we came to Super Fan Con last year, I did 100 mystery boxes and it sold out quick. So this year I brought two, hopefully they last the whole three days. So this should be fun. And uh, yeah, show you a little bit of behind the scenes of uh, selling at a con, I guess will be the title. I don't know what the title of this video is gonna be. I feel like I'm rambling. Let's start this video. What's up, OG, Triple OG? Oh, no, never mind. Hello? Yo. What's up with the mouse? Hold up, bro. There's us? Yeah, so that's these and that. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know, because like what you said, like we would put, we would put all the mystery boxes on this one. Yeah. And then I'm gonna put I'm, all my figs here. So, so this, so this stuff is my stuff, and then this stuff right here is Jordan's stuff. So yeah, I guess we're good. You think? Huh? Yeah, I mean we should be okay. Yeah. All right. All right, you guys. As you can see, I just got here. Uh, I dropped all of my stuff last night. All those bins against the wall, boxes and stuff. So, the con opens in about three hours. Seth and I are gonna start setting up and I'll catch up with you guys in a minute. All right, you guys, we're done setting up. I got my 200 mystery boxes back there. A few pops up here. And then a bunch of stuff that I'm just no longer collecting or I have doubles of like all these Marvel Legends. Uh, this is a second pack. You guys, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw I opened one of these already. Found another one a while back and I bought it. I don't know why, so it's for sale. This, if you guys saw the video where I think Seth found it for me. Yeah, I found, found it for you. And now you're selling it up? Wow. I have, no, this is the one that came <laughs> in. Uh, remember, <laughs> pre-ordered it? <laughs> I pre-ordered it and it came in the mail. I showed it in one of the videos. So I have how two, could, I don't need two. How could you do that to me after everything we've been through? OG <laughs> snitches. OG. Hey, hey, we're done with that. Yeah, right? we're done, we're done. Pepe the Pepe Saga's done. The Pepe Saga's done. We're I'm done being the bad guy, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay. So yeah. This is our booth. For Super Fan Con. Pretty dope. A lot of good stuff. Plenty of good stuff. I would tell you to come down and buy some stuff, but by the time you're seeing this, if you didn't come, you already missed it, so. Guess that's that. All right, you guys, uh, we're gonna go. We have about a 
oh, still two hours before the con opens. So we're gonna go have some lunch, relax a little bit, then come back and uh, hopefully let the fun begin. This place has a skating ring, and I already know that Seth is gonna leave me alone in the booth all day. Bro, you can't. This is where you're gonna spend all your time. You I know realize it. I used to play hockey, right? I know how to skate. Hmm. I was thinking more of figure skating. <laughs> what? Like Seth the eyelash on ice? There you go. Hey. Hey, that's some, that'll get views right there. <laughs> yeah, set the, yeah, set the eyelash on ice. Do they rent skates yeah. here? Yeah, yeah, they rent skates. There you go, set the eyelash. We got back. We finished setting up. We had to price everything out. And right away, I sold six. Hey, D. Martin. What's up, dog? Oh, what's wrong with your hand? Okay, I'll leave you alone. So, like I was saying, right away, I sold six mystery boxes. Uh, but I left my camera in the truck, so I had to go get it. I'm gonna go back in. Maybe Seth sold something else while I was gone. I don't know. That's a big ball. Look at that. What's up with these guys? Oh, what happened to his head? No. That was a hard foul. Let's go see what Seth's doing. Sold another one? Someone, someone bought another box. Oh, this yeah. one is all you sold? That's it. That's it? That's it. That's all I can do. <laughs> <laughs> all right so that's seven so i just realized that i never showed these predator neko figures on camera before these are the two quarter skills i actually bought them at super fan con this con that i'm at last year uh and ever since i bought them they've just been in their box sitting in my closet not doing anything that's why they're here for sale because i've decided that I don't think I want to do any quarter scales in my collection except for the Ninja Turtle NECA figures that I have. Yes, sir. How may I help you? Uh. Wow. Wow. I got two more days of this shit with him. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm only going to keep the Turtle NECA figures as far as uh, quarter scales go. And I'm not going to be buying any more. So, I figured they've been sitting in my closet for a year. Might as well let them go. And I've also decided to get rid of uh, my Mezcos. I've actually gotten rid of a few. These are the ones I have left. So. And here are a few pops. For those of you that collect Funko Pops. That I have that are of value. That I'm not keeping. So. I got these two. At SpookyCon 2019 I believe. And uh, yeah, some of these I was actually surprised when I was doing the mystery boxes, I was scanning some of the pops and I was pretty surprised at the value. Like this guy's selling for over 70, I think. Um, he's, how much is he? He's like a $50 pop now. This guy, which I bought at a flea market, is over a hundred. That's crazy. So I decided to, you know, sell them separate. Although I do have 50, $60 valued pops in the mystery boxes i have autograph pops with uh coas i have uh chases exclusives so if you guys saw last year's video or if you attended last year's cons you guys know i try to be more than fair um there are 200 pops here so if i sell out that's only at ten dollars that's only two thousand there's easily five thousand worth of pops in here so I mean, I'm just trying to make the room. I'm not trying to make a profit. I need the space. Believe it or not, I still have well over 400 pops left. So they got to go. And I don't have the patience to sit there and try to sell them one by one. So this is the quickest way for me to get rid of them. Like you guys saw, I just sold seven, but I don't have my pop seller here. I don't have Jan, Captain Powerlift. He'll be here tomorrow. And hopefully he's going to slang these for me and get rid of them all the next two days. That's what he did in the last con. I'm hoping he can do it again. <laughs> Where did Seth go? Huh. Okay, I lost Seth. Which is not an easy thing to do. <laughs> right, I'm gonna go look for him. I'll be right back. What up? What up? Gotta jump into this thing. Ugh. What's up, bro? You ready for today? Always ready for today. Saw some mystery boxes. I'm gonna sell out your mystery boxes. <laughs> Well, I can't set them up today because we have enough for tomorrow. But... That's okay. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> you can put the bins away today. <laughs> Want coffee? 
We already had some kind of question. Like, even if I had coffee, I would have coffee. So today's Saturday, the second day of the con. I know I didn't film much yesterday, but it was just me and Seth in the booth, and we did get a little busy there from time to time. But uh, today, I have Jan with me, which is always helpful because, well, for, for one, he sold out my mystery boxes last year, so I'm hoping he could do that again this year. You doubled up this year. <laughs> I doubled up because you sold them too fast. <laughs> and uh, I'm also filming today for the documentary, so I'm gonna be doing a lot of running around. It's gonna be a good day, hopefully. So I'll see you guys when we get to the con. All right, you guys, we're back at the con. Uh, oh, looks like I'm the first one here. I don't think Seth is even here yet. What? Jesus Christ! Come on, everybody. The hell are you doing on there? Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> gonna give me a heart attack. Well, I'm hey. All right, well, Seth is here. He's early. What's going on? Oh, we got a line outside, so that's good. Yeah, we got a line. Listen, I already met with some subscribers I got, I got, while I was outside. I got us some, I got us some, I stopped off early this morning. I got us some drinks and snacks so we can hang out, we can eat, we can relax. Nice, nice. So, that, that's, what I, that's what I do. You're the man. I, I am the hero of the collecting community. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, it looks like today's going to be a very good day. There's already a line forming outside. I actually met with a few subscribers while I was walking in. That's very cool. And uh, we still have about 40 minutes before the doors even open. So hopefully all of that will be gone today. This stuff I don't care if I sell or not to the truth. I mean, like I said, these are all doubles, but I don't mind hanging on to them, keeping them in box for now. And then she was like, she came back. And we have the Medina Lorian with yes. us. What's up, bro? What's up, man? How you doing? What's going on? Cricky, would you look at the, would you look at this bloke? <laughs> we got a we got a Medina here in the wild. He, he's making a rare appearance at the con. <laughs> You have to get rid of this shit. Outside of his natural habitat. Yeah. Uh, that's oh, been... by, 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 the, by the way, just to, I hope you're recording, you're recording this. So, FYI, the 350 lowball offer was from him. <laughs> <laughs> the 300 lowball offer was from him. Because here's the thing. I keep him, and Nilda, him and Nilda were sitting here and they're like, hey, well, Seth, they're, like, call, they're, like, call George, they're like, call George and see if, uh, you know, see if we'll take 300, take you 300 for it. So I was like, all right, I was like, I'll call him right now. And they're like, you serious? I'm like, yeah. So then I called it. I didn't put you on speakerphone. So I'm like, hey, George, I'm like, you want, somebody wants 300 for your thing. They're like, you're like, hell no, that's a low ball offer. You know, and then he texted me back. And then he was like, all right, tell him I'll take 400. <laughs> I'll use 375, 400. 400 covers what I spent on. I need you to sell this or just... I can't spend the whole weekend with this here, bro. It's so taunting me. I don't want to collect quarter scale. What are you talking about? It's Boba Fett. I know. It is Boba Fett. But it's like, I'm about to buy it if we don't move it. It's, it's I'm going to help you. Look, that's another thing I need I get help with. I need it you to help like me move that. You make a lot of quarter scale. Yeah. You said 400 for this, right? 400. I'm going to sell it for 550 today, watch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I'm taking the top cut. You can take the other cut. Okay. So I just want what I paid for it. Then yeah, so I really don't want to buy a quarter scale hot toy because that's only going to open up another door. I'm gonna wanna buy more quarter scales, especially that Mando quarter scale that's coming out. So I need him to sell that. All day yesterday, I was just thinking about that. Oh, do I know you, Jan? What's up, my brother? Oh, it's a my brother. What did you say when you first walked in? I want everything on the table. Sold. All right, we're going home, guys. That's it. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. Oh, really quick i just sold all my ledges to one person but before he takes this one i wanted to tell you guys i got a call from uh, gamestop just the other day that i had a pre-order that had came in when i got there it was this guy i pre-ordered this in september of 2019 it just came in four days ago i don't know that's some kind of a record that's crazy to me but just wanted to share that with you guys before i left Hey, I'm just curious, have any of you ever had a pre-order take a year and a half from GameStop? Or am I the only one? Am I just that on the... <laughs> Good luck! Thank you! Two more mystery boxes down. 
I still have plenty to go. I think I just sold these two figures to Joy from way back when. Still waiting to hear back, but I think he's taking that. So the the predators sold. You taking them? I'm taking them. <laughs> Mine. Not for sale. Not for sale. Not for sale. I'll be back. I don't know how he makes any money. The guy never sells anything. Huh? Where'd you say he was from? I thought it was Jumanji. Jumanji? <laughs> <laughs> oh, donuts. Don't mind if I do. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I got the most boring donut you could possibly get. <laughs> I don't even know what this is, to tell you the truth. What? What are you eating? I have no idea what this is. That's like a, an expired Twinkie. That looks like a, an old eclair. It was in a Dunkin' Donuts box. Are you going to eat it? I dare you. That's the plan. <laughs> no, I'd rather not. What? I'm not going to eat that because I'm sure you found that on the fucking floor. I oh, found wait. it. You're There's donuts over there. Hours. From where? Over there by the door, there's donuts. Where's there donuts? By the door, over there. Are you for real? Yes. What the fuck? How come no one told me? I want a fucking donut. They didn't tell us because they'll disappear. That's why they didn't tell us. We're fucking fat. Yeah. What do you mean a donut in peace? Not a good decision. Hey. What? Joey's gonna buy it. What? You told me. Oh, okay. He's medio borracho. Medio loco, I know. All right, I have to redeem myself from that horrible donut. <laughs> That's a little better. Better choice. Uh, My donut. <laughs> get your own donut. Get your own fatty. What'd you get? What'd you get? Yeah, no, it's all screwed up now. Oh, Tiger Woods. You bought yeah. two, right? Yeah, I bought two. What's the other one? Yeah, his leg is all jacked up. Oh. They, had to put, they had to put like a whole bunch of pins, pins in his leg. Oh, oh nice. Good brain. Yeah. Congrats, man. Yeah. Thank well, you. Devin, Appreciate Devin, it. Always, man. Always. Another satisfied customer. I'm checking out Corcoran's booth real quick. See what they got. Oh, they got the Super 7. This guy's dope. For the whole collection, I think this is my favorite one. I got some lightsabers. I gotta tell Jan about that. I got a gaggle of this guy. There was a time where I bought the books a million and they had like 30 at a time. I always picked up one or two every time. Oh, look at this. This is pretty cool. <laughs> That's the dopest cosplay I've seen yet. Flynn, what's up, brother? Hello. How's it going? Very good, very good. How are you? Good, How's your guys' food? We're doing okay, bro. Yeah, doing, doing pretty well. good. Awesome, man. You know, can't complain. So you got a bunch of games going on. Yes, all the systems, you know, left the arcade games at home, you know, at Flynn's, because obviously we're open, so. <laughs> you guys running a tournament? Well, MK11 at like around two. We'll see what happens, man. Good time, man. Oh, good Always luck a pleasure, brother. Oh, this is all you too, right? That's all me too. All our Gundam, our little builds, custom oh, builds, cool. you know. Yeah, dude. Maybe really good stuff. That's dope. I'm not even into Gundam, but I like that. Hmm. I honestly just found out that Flynn sells all this Gundam stuff. I've been to the store before, but... I don't know they were into it like this. 
pretty dope. The Funko Pop was here. They'll be having a blast with all this. Yo, someone's offering 300 for the Boba Fett quarter scale hot toy. Fuck no. No? Fuck no. You sure? He's crazy, right? Crazy. Fucking guy. I hate people like that. <laughs> it was me. I'm Maybe the one offering 300 for that quarter scale bubble pack. I have to try. <laughs> you ready? Good luck. Let's see what you got. Open it up. I go first? Yep. Ready, Strix? Come on, man. Oh, what a gentleman. Love it. Woo! Let's go! I got Peter! That's probably mine. He always did. Where is it? Hey, I've been meaning to get Stewie and Brian because I wanted to get their combo, but I can't find them. But this is dope. Well, Brian's in there somewhere. Just keep buying now, play. <laughs> There's a Brian in there? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Let's go! Yeah, I thought you had gotten the red one. The chrome has everything blue. Oh, and it was like, yeah. this, this one looks details, dope. Yeah, I love it. That's my favorite one. They did really good yesterday. They pulled a bunch of good pops. Ooh, That's why they came back today. <laughs> There's only two signed pops in there with COAs, and they pulled it right away the first time yesterday. We got more in the back if you want to pick from the back. We got Megan, now we got Viper Daryl. What's good? Viper Daryl. This is so dope. And look, it has that little cool effect on the box. Yeah. <laughs> we ended up getting Negan and we want Glenn. That's what we're looking for. Um, oh, yeah, oh, oh, Two in a row? <laughs> what are the chances? <laughs> Let's go. And it's prop protected too. Oh, this it's is black so and white. Right. It's really yeah. cool. Wow. I hope you like The Walking Dead. No, we do. <laughs> we definitely do. <laughs> oh, nothing. Oh, Let's go. Let's go. Oh, this is a fall convention Which exclusive one? too. Oh, 2017. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, this is an empty box. Uh, nice. This is so fine. So, so fine. you're lucky because I like I really like people lined up doing all types of mystery boxes in here. All over here. Oh, nice. What'd you pull? Oh, oh nice, nice. nice. <laughs> Congrats. <laughs> And we got three walking dogs. We got Daryl, and then uh, three and black Daryl, and then again. He's gonna go for me. You gonna get two? Two or one? I call two. two Good luck, man. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so. All right, you guys. Today is Sunday, the third and final day of the con, as you can see. Uh, the con just opened about an hour ago. We've been swamped with people buying mystery boxes. These two right here in the black have been here all three days buying pop so <laughs> shout out to you guys if you're watching this thank you for the love and support uh i also sold some uh turtles i sold i sold a few things already so not bad for sunday i honestly thought sunday was gonna be kind of you know a slower day but i hope it continues like this as you can see i've already sold half so i've sold about a hundred <coughs> got a few hours left to sell the other hundred what do you think Oh, we could be done. We could do it. Yeah. We could be done. So it's almost the end of day three, our last day here. I haven't bought anything since I've been here. We're really the only booth that has figures or anything that, you know, uh, we normally collect. We're not going to buy our own stuff. So I uh, caved and I bought some Pokemon cards. Not for me, though. For my kids. From our neighbors. Broward Pokemon. This table has been killing it the past two days. They also bought some mystery boxes from me. So. Oh, that was one of my pulls? Yeah. yeah. Oh, congrats, man. <laughs> See that? I had chases in there. I told you. I'm pretty sure more people pulled chases. A lot of people that bought mystery boxes didn't open them here in front of us. But a few did. Did you just buy Pokemon? For my kids. 
Did you did you just buy I'm Pokemon? desperate to buy something, okay? So I got plenty of stuff. Help a friend out, goddammit. I'll trade you. I'll trade you my stuff for yours. <laughs> And now that I bought something for my kids, maybe I'll buy something for myself. I don't know. This is kind of tempting. The guy that owns is kind of an asshole though, I don't know. Excuse me, sir. How much you asking from the far from home, Spidey? Plus not the dick. See, told you. Asshole. <laughs> How much? 50% off. 50% off? I'll take the whole table. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know. I don't have a Spidey in my collection yet. I do want that new one with the Tom Holland portrait. That's pretty dope. You're out? Peace! Cheese! You can't tell if I'm smiling or not. I could just be going cheese with like a sad, mean face underneath. <laughs> like <laughs> Alright you guys, I sold a bunch of... What the... <laughs> this man leaves me alone at the booth and comes back with this. What I the... got a new friend for Chestnut! <laughs> what I is got a new friend for Chestnut! <laughs> Say hi to Veronica! Did you win that? Was it a dare or what? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I told you guys I was good at the claw machine! <laughs> Let's rock! Yeah! <laughs> Oh boy, all right, so like I was saying, um, I'm almost sold out of the mystery boxes, thank God. Still have about two and a half hours left. And about Maybe I can sell 30, out. And about see. 40 mystery boxes. Dude, while you were gone? I know, I saw, I just oh, bumped you into saw? them. So like, I just bumped into 40, them. 50 of them. All right, as you can see, it's almost the end of the con. Seth what is picking up. These people have pretty much cleared me out of pops. <laughs> They're excited back here. How many pops did you just buy? We got 12. 12. 12 right now. Yeah. All right, so that means I have... Hey, how many do I have left, do you know? Going to the car. How many do I have left? 28 left. 28 left. 28 left. Almost sold out. Almost. Still have an hour left. Maybe those by the rest. <laughs> uh, and then, of course, I had to buy something from Seth. So, I picked up Spider-Man, Far From Home. Why not? I caved. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm back home. Today is Monday. I have to hurry up and edit this video. I want to release this video tomorrow on Tuesday. Um, I have a bunch of empty bins behind me, which is a good thing. This con was actually a huge success for me. As far as making room, for my collection, I managed to sell a lot. I took five bins and like four boxes, big boxes, filled to the brim. And I came back with only one bin halfway full. So that's awesome. And I managed to sell every single mystery box. So shout out to Jan, Captain Powerlift for helping me out. Shout out to everybody that came by and showed us love and support. Shout out to all the subscribers we hung out with. Um, shout out to all of our friends, Jan, Humpty, George, uh, the whole crew from way back when. I'm going to leave everyone's information. Uh, if they have a YouTube channel, it'll be down in the description below. Make sure you subscribe to MCE, Seth and George. Watch Seth's video. So you can see uh, this con from his perspective because he is making a video from this con as well. And um, that's about it. Uh, shout out to Wilfer Navarro, super fan con. Make sure you follow them on IG. I'll put their uh, IG account right here on the screen for you guys. And uh, that's about it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Ring that bell so you're notified when I make more videos like this and like Always, guys, thank you for watching. Try to catch me howling at the moon.